Did you know that you can't just keep adding steel reinforcement or rebar to your concrete members in order to make them stronger? Well, it's not that you can't, but there's a limit and it's called the maximum reinforcement ratio. When a concrete beam is loaded, we get a deflected shape that we all know looks something like this. We get an accumulation of tensile stresses at the bottom portion of the midspan of the beam and we get an equal and opposite concentration of compression stresses at the top. To combat this, engineers specifically place their reinforcement towards the bottom of their beam because the steel you want to locate in the location of your tensile stresses. While at the top of the beam, we designate some amount of area of concrete to handle our compression stresses at the top. But you can have too much of a good thing. So if I were to just stuff a bunch of steel reinforcement in the bottom of my beam, there becomes a tipping point where this is no longer a good thing for the beam's design. And that's because you've changed the failure mode of the beam. What does that mean? It means that because you made your steel reinforcement so significantly strong, the next failure mode in line is actually crushing of the concrete at the top portion of your beam. Either the steel can start to yield and pull apart under the load, or the concrete at the top actually compresses and crushes on itself under load. We never want our concrete to crush because that is a brittle failure mode or an instantaneous failure mode that can happen without warning. So engineers design their beams to stay in what is called the tensile controlled zone. This is where you supply enough steel reinforcement to handle the loads, but if the beam were ever to be overloaded, the steel would be the first thing that starts to fail and the beam would start to deflect and show signs of distress. If too much steel is added, you get kicked out of the tensile controlled zone and into the compression controlled zone where you get that brittle failure mode and your concrete near the top of the beam actually breaks and crushes suddenly. And up above is an instance of a beam failing in compression, something that you don't see all that often, nor should you. To remind us of this when we're designing our reinforced concrete members, the building code along with our material codes set maximum reinforcement limits. This ensures that the beam bends instead of explodes.